brief history of Sir Roger Bannister. Sir Roger Bannister is an English former athlete, physician and academic who ran the first sub four minute mile. In the 1952 Olympics in Helsinki, Bannister set a British record in the 1500 metres but did not win the medal he expected. This humiliation strengthened his resolve to be the first four minute miler. This historic event took place on the 6th of May 1954 during a meet between British AAA and Oxford University at Ifley Road Track in Oxford. It was watched by about 3,000 spectators. With winds up to 25 miles per hour prior to the event, Bannister had said twice that he favoured not running to conserve his energy and efforts to break the four-minute barrier. He would try again at another meet. However, the winds dropped just before the race was scheduled to begin and Bannister did the run. Pace setters from his major 1953 attempts, future Commonwealth Games gold medalist Chris Cataway from the 2nd of May attempt and future Olympic gold medalist Chris Brasher from the 27th of June attempt combined to provide pacing on the historic day. The race was broadcast live by BBC Radio and commentated on by 1924 Olympic 100 metres champion Harold Abrahams of Chariots of Fire fame. Bannister had begun his day at hospital in London where he sharpened his running spikes and rubbed graphite on them so that he would not pick up too much cinder ash. He took a mid-morning train from Paddington Station to Oxford nervous about rainy windy conditions that afternoon. Being a dual meet format, there were seven men entered in the mile. Alan Gordon, George Dole and Nigel Miller from Oxford University and four British AAA runners, Bannisters, his two pacemakers, Brasher and Cataway, and Tom Hullett. Nigel Miller arrived as a spectator and he only realised that he was due to run when he read the programme. Efforts to borrow a running kit failed and he could not take part, thus reducing the field to six. The race went off as scheduled at 6pm and Brasher and Bannister immediately led. Brasher, wearing number 44, led both the first lap in 58 seconds and the half mile in 158, with Bannister tucked in behind and Cataway astride behind Bannister. Cataway moved to the front after the second lap and maintained the pace with a 301 split at the bell. Cataway continued to lead around the front turn until Bannister began his finishing kick with about 250 yards to go, running the last lap in just under 59 seconds. The stadium announcer for the race was Norris McRiver, who went went on to co-publish and co-edit the Guinness Book of World Records. He excited the crowd by delaying the announcement of the time Bannister ran as long as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the result of event 9, the one mile. First, number 41, R.G. Bannister, Amateur Athletic Association and formerly of Exeter and Merton Colleges, Oxford, with a time which is a new meeting and track record and which, subject to ratification, will be a new English native British national all comers European British Empire and world record the time was free the roar of the crowd drowned out the rest of the announcement Bannister's time was 3 minute 59.4 seconds the claim that a 4 minute mile was once thought to be impossible by informed observers was and is widely propagated myth created by sports writers and debunked by Bannister himself in his memoir The 4 Minute Mile the reason the myth took hold was that 4 minutes was a nice round number which was slightly better than the world record for nine years longer than it probably otherwise would have been because of the effect of world war ii in interrupting athletic progress in the combatant countries bannister's record only lasted 46 days more notable was that he had reached this record with so little training whilst practicing as a junior doctor bannister went on to become a distinguished neurologist and master of pembroke college at the university of oxford when asked whether the four minute mile was his proudest achievement he said he felt prouder of his contribution to academic medicine through research into the responses of the nervous system. Bannister is the patron of the MSA Trust and he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2011. It was very awkward having done this. I, I was only a medical student and I was doing sport and running while I was a student and intended to retire immediately I qualified as a doctor. There was a St George's flag on that church steeple and I was using that as an index of how uh, strong the wind was and it just dropped a little so I only decided about 20 minutes before that it was possible.